What's good, y'all? It's Drew here, back with another JJK chapter review. So today we're talking about JJK chapter 256, and I'm going to be honest, it was a movie, so we're going to get right into it. First, we get basically a flashback from Gojo. Gojo tells us something that I guess people kind of already knew. People assume that he could use Black Flash because he had six eyes, like he could use Black Flash intentionally. But Gojo's like, nah, that's not really possible, even for me. To which he talks about how Nanami has had a total record, but in terms of total times, Gojo wins because if Gojo hits you with a Black Flash, you're not getting up. Right after that, we are told that Yuji is going to surpass the amount of hits that Gojo has hit in total. By the end of the series, Yuji will have more Black Flashes hit than Gojo. Meanwhile, we're still remembering that Sakuna's probably gaining his RCT. Yuji's throwing hands with Sakuna and Chozo as, as well, actually, so that's that's kind of funny. Sakuna's doing what he does, which is avoiding things very, very easily. And Maki slides through. Now, I gotta be honest, I made a, a video about the heavy hitters, so go check that out if you haven't already. Maki's very hard, like we know Maki's a very, very powerful character, but I'm gonna get on Maki real quick soon because she basically slides on Sakuna and tries to stab him with her sword and he manages to hold the sword. We see that she's using the air as a foothold, which is hard. I don't even know how she can do that, but Maki gets hit with a black flash with Sakuna. This is Sakuna's third black flash and the second he's used on Maki. I don't know what it is, Maki, but you are a black flash magnet for Sakuna. Like every time you slide through, you're causing black flashes and it's not helping us. Like I rock with you, Maki, but it's, it, it just seems like Maki making Sakuna stronger at this point, you know what I'm saying? And we get, and Maki kind of notices that Sakuna's normal slashes, his output has increased again. So things are getting a lot worse. That's kind of what we see with, with Maki. Meanwhile, Sakuna basically sends a slash at Chozo and before the slash hits Chozo, basically flash steps behind him, which is insane because that kind of tells us that Sakuna is faster than his attacks. The slashes was a bluff to catch Chozo off guard. And while he's trying to defend against the slash, Sakuna hits him with a fourth black flat. Like at this point, Sakuna's just doing black flashes for fun. Like four black flashes is insane. He hits Chozo with that, but luckily, Chozo is able to make an armor of blood and hold on to Sakuna's arm, which honestly, if we're going to be honest, I think a black flash from, from Sakuna should have dropped him, but I'll let him cook. Uh, but luckily, we have the actual MC of the series, which y'all might have forgotten. That's Yuji. Yuji comes and smacks Sakuna in his face. Like, it's crazy. I don't know what's going on. Uh, <laughs> so luckily, we uh, Chozo actually kind of notes that no matter how many times Sakuna hits a black flash and gains his momentum, Sakuna's cursed energy output and control over Magni's body will decrease. Even though Sakuna's Black Flash is potentially boosting him insanely, uh, Yuji's punches is, is, is dulling it, if not equally, if not more. So that's luckily on our part, because otherwise I think we would be probably cooked by now. Uh, but Miguel, I ain't lying, Miguel's, Miguel's watching and reading the chapter like us, because he didn't do nothing this chapter. Like, uh, he's basically like, okay, well, we've done enough. And he was gonna retreat, but he's like, nah, there's something I have to still have to do. So we're gonna find out a little bit more about that later. But meanwhile, we have Yuji continuing the fight because as y'all know, he is the MC. So Sakuna tries to put him into the ground, but Yuji hits him with piercing blood. Now, I feel like, I don't know why it feels like I've seen him do this for so long. Now, it just feels like I've expected Yuji to use the piercing blood, but this is kind of the first time he's using this, you know, the curse technique. So Yuji has a curse technique, guys. Like, yeah, we got, you know what I'm saying? We got to give him his credit. We have to give him his praise because... Like, this just, it feels like it's, it feels like it's not the first time, but I don't know. I guess just so usually uses you know the we see him using the piercing blood, which was kind of cool. Uh, but Sakuna is able to push it away. But luckily, Yuji is, is able to get into the zone from using that attack. Which this is something that's kind of cool that I think that uh, we got a, a kind of a parallel. So when Yuji was fighting uh, Mahito, Mahito was actually able to sense when Yuji was about to hit a black flash when he was about to hit the zone, and. Sakuna's also able to do this. So Sakuna notices like, oh snap, he's about to hit a black flash. Let me like get ready. But even though he's trying to like, you know, prepare to handle Yuji, something kind of diverts his attention. And we see Laru pull up with his curse technique, which is actually pretty interesting because we know that he can kind of grab a body, a physical body, but he can, uh, in addition to that, he's also able to basically grab onto someone. He can grab onto their heart or their consciousness, which Presumably, he's trying to use to grab Megami, which we haven't seen that low bro in like 400 chapters, so hopefully he can come back. Uh, he tries to grab him, and right after that, our boy Yuji hits Sakuna with a black flash, which uh, obviously we kind of knew because Sakuna can kind of sense it. So 
Yuji has a black flash, but more important than that, the chapter ends with Yuji awakening. And the narrative basically says, by unlocking his potential throughout Black Flash, amidst the scattered black sparks, Yuji Itadori awakens. And I ain't gonna lie, bro, that kept me hype. I'm gonna be all, like, we haven't really seen a lot of awakenings. I think Gojo's pretty much the only example of it. But seeing what Awakening did for Gojo, basically turning from one of the greatest to the greatest, at least, you know, excluding Sukuna, <laughs> forget that guy, right? I'm expecting Yuji with Awakening to be him. Like, I, I think Yuji's got to be that guy. Now, I don't know what he's going to be able to do with it. Like, we saw Gojo basically figure out how to use RCT maximally, you know what I'm saying? He was a, he just, he was just a, he was a different caliber of a person. I, I expect Yuji to be on that kind of timing. Like, I don't know... I hope Gage is not playing for it to be a 1v1. Like, Yuji should not be 1v1ing Sukuna. It shouldn't be that easy. But Yuji's got to be that guy. Like, I'm, I'm talking about Yuji got to be you to level damn near. Something like, something like really, really sicing him up. But that is surprising. Like, I, I honestly had for, not almost forgotten, but like, didn't expect it to happen. And I guess that kind of brings the, the question of like, how many people awakened in JJK so far besides Gojo? Uh, but nah, you, Yuji's teeing up. You know what I'm saying? I talk about how Yuji is a weak mate or. How people in front of Yuji being an MC or being the MC when you have Yuta and Hikari or even Maki, but Yuji's been putting in work. I can't lie to you. Now, the thing is, every time I feel like we think that Sukuna has a, a Sukuna's maybe not having the upper hand, he does some crazy shit. He does something crazy. I mean, he's on his fourth black flash. If he gets to like five or six black flashes, I don't know. But I Yuji might Yuji might be the guy to take him out because it's like we know Yuji has the whole soul. His soul punches are basically nerfing Sukuna. Uh, but I don't know. Uh, Yuji is still out for the count. People are like, Maki's cooked. Because one Black Flash, her get up is kind of insane. Two Black Flashes? Maki get up from two Black Flashes? She's low-key hurt. I don't know what Hikari's doing. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to him. But you act like, I ain't gonna lie. Hikari gonna finish this fight being like, damn, this is a hard fight. And the entire, like rest of the battles are going to be done like Sukuna's going to be defeated like the show's going to be over by the time Akari's done at this point because bro this thing I feel like I feel like he's been fighting a girl for like six months in real time so it, it's kind of low-key nasty but I'll let him cook but yeah now nah, Yuji Yuji Awakening is really really tough I I'm, I'm excited for what happens next chapter because I'm thinking Gage is going to really get into his bag with that I think um now that I'm thinking about it, I think Maki might have awakened. I think, yeah, I think that, that that might be her thing. She awakened as well. But let me know in the comments if anyone else awakened. And let me know what you guys think down below. Like, is Sakuna too strong? Because a lot of stuff is clearly happening, as y'all can see. But I don't really know what's going on, you know what I'm saying? Or what's going to happen. Uh, but let, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell notification. Uh, yeah, subscribe, you know what I'm saying? Subscribe for more uh, JJK content and more anime content in general. But 